see pictures of a five-year-old name, boy named Garnett Spears show him how adorable, smiling, silly, far from sick. And yet, his mother blogged about this little boy's bouts with low weight and feeding problems, diarrhea, vomiting. It gets worse from there. So it turns out, according to prosecutors, that this little boy was suffering not from poor health, but allegedly at his own mother's hands. Tuesday, Lacey Spears pleaded not guilty to the second degree murder of her son who died in January. USA Today reports, quote, the boy was alert and talking on the night of January 20th when friends visited him and Spears in his hospital room. One friend recalled the five-year-old pleading with her, don't leave me. Westchester County prosecutors say Spears overdosed her son with saline. It took us across five different states, hundreds of interviews, examination of thousands of documents, uh, and a significant manpower commitment by a number of different agencies. When I read that this little boy was pleading with this person, don't leave me in this hospital room. I know innocent until proven guilty, but it makes my skin crawl. You know, those are the kind of facts about murder cases and child abuse cases that I try to forget. I try not to think about them, but I can't help think about them because that little boy was begging for help. This is what is so damning about this. You might think it's going to be a toxicology or forensic case because they're going to be analyzing his tissue and the fluids in his body at the time of his death. But listen to this. From the hospital, the mother, Lacey Spears, calls her neighbor there in Chestnut Ridge and asks her to go and get the feeding bag she was using at home and throw it away mm. so police couldn't find it. What was in that feeding bag? Salt. Mm. We would call it table salt. What it is, sodium, saline, overdosing her child on saline. And what's so incredible to me is that she actually blogs. She blogs for the world to see. Yeah. I'm watching my son come off the bed in pain. We're going to have to make a difficult decision to take him off life support. Mm -hmm. If this is at her hand, she's going down. She gained all kinds of sympathy, as you pointed out, through social media um, through the years. And that's why, Elizabeth Cohen, I just wanted to have you on because she's being investigated um, for having Munchausen by proxy, um, which is all about what getting sympathy, you're keeping your right. kids sick, you want the sympathy from the hospital, which is further exacerbated by this world of social media. That's right. So Munchausen syndrome is where you do it about yourself. You make up things about yourself. Munchausen by proxy is where you do it for someone who's in your care. And oh. it is it is so sad. Uh, in the end, really, it's child abuse. And they don't know why people do this. They do it for comfort. They do it to get attention. So many of these people were abused themselves as children. And as you said, you know, it used to be with Munchausen by proxy, you would get the sympathy of your doctors or your immediate family. But now on social media, you're getting that sympathy constantly. She went to the hospital all 23 times with this child. And you can bet that the people at that hospital were suspicious. That, that would be my guess, is that they knew something was up. But it's very hard you know, what do you do? How do you follow through on that? I think sometimes it can be difficult to really to really nail that down. Nancy, what happens next uh, as far as she is concerned? What 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 could she face here? Well, on her one way trip to hell, she's <laughs> going to make a little stop in the courtroom. Uh, what can medical personnel do? For one thing, if they suspect abuse, they can call CPS, Child Protective Services. I mean, if they really suspect that, it's actually their duty to call mm -hmm. DFACS, Department of Family and Children's Services. Uh, she is now facing murder two in that jurisdiction. That's the same as murder one to us. It's called depraved heart. When you do something so callous to someone else that results in their death. That's 25 to life. Now, here's the thing she's got going for her. Before this, she was believed to be, by many, a loving and devoted mother. It's going to be very hard for a jury hmm. to wrap their mind around mm -hmm. a mother doing this to a child. You look at all those postings you two were talking about, and yeah. you're absolutely right. They're having fun. He's giggling. He's with mommy. He's laughing. It's going to be hard for them to believe that she could do this to him, but forensics don't lie.